So to find the inflection point, I'm going to take the, okay, so this is the actual point on the graph here. So we take the original function, r of x, and we plug 2 directly into it. So that's going to end up being two cubed minus six times two squared plus twelve times two and after doing the uh, arithmetic here you should uh, get eight. So the inflection point, and I'm just going to label it with uh, IP inflection point and it's a point so that means we got an ordered pair here so that'd be 2 comma 8 okay and I'll bring the graph up here in just a minute and we'll see what we're looking at here on that now to find where the functions uh, concave up or concave down um, what we're going to do now is, is I'm going to draw a number line so this is just like how we determined if a graph was increasing or decreasing I'm going to put uh, 2 on the number line, okay, and then I'm going to pick uh, some test points, and we'll pick 0, 0 is always a good one, and how about 3, and so what we're going to do now is we're going to take these test points and plug them into the second derivative, and it'll tell us whether the graph is uh, positive or, mi or negative. And that's all we're really concerned about um, is the sign out once again. So if I were to take a zero, take zero here, and plug it directly in, doesn't matter which one we're looking at, plug it in right here, you get uh, six times zero is zero, and so you get a, a you get a uh, you get a negative out. So that's going to be negative. And that means that we're going to have concavity, so I do it like this. Just draw me a line so we know it's concave down from negative infinity up to 2. And then I plug 3 in, and 6 times 3 is 18. 18 minus 12 is going to be a positive number. Okay. And then we say that the graph is concave up from 2 to infinity. And we'll write that out right here. So concave down. I just label it C and D here. We got from negative infinity to 2. And it's concave up from 2 to infinity. Okay. So we found our inflection point and we found our concavity. Now let's actually take a look at the graph. Okay, so here's a graph of that function. And here's about where 2 is located. Okay, so as you can see, remember I said they concave up in the last problem. You can think of it as like holding water, right? And then, of course, this part of the graph is concave down up into 2, and then concave up. And where this concavity changes is what's known as the inflection point, and that was at 2, 8. And so we're looking at our coordinates over here, and uh, I'm trying to get close, but uh, as you can see there. Anyway, it's at 2, 8 is where the actual inflection point occurs, and that is where our concavity changes. Okay, where the concavity actually changes. We can, let's see. Oh, that's zooming out. Let's zoom in real quick here. Maybe get a closer look at what's going on. As you can see, the y-axis is really zoomed out more than the x-axis is. That's the reason the 8 looks like it's lying on the x-axis, but uh, when, I, when x is equal to 2. But. Okay, so pretty easy. We're going to work lots of these problems, so you'll get the hang of it.